Myelodysplastic syndrome is a disease of the bone marrow. The bone marrow is the body's factory to make blood cells. Myelo means bone marrow, and dysplastic actually means that the cells look funny under the microscope. They're not being formed normally. So in this disorder, the problem is that there's abnormal formation of one or more of the blood cells being made inside the bone marrow. The MDS comes in different shapes and sizes. I will say that MDS has, um, in general, been a disease of older patients, with most patients being well into their 70s and beyond. Patients may not require treatment for a long time. They may not even ever require therapy, depending on their age. Other patients are more seriously ill, may require transfusions, antibiotics, or eventually chemotherapy or what's called hypomethylating agent treatments. And there are lots of different approaches to MDS, so it's really not a one-size-fits-all diagnosis. It is a very important um, and difficult uh, diagnosis to treat. Bone marrow transplantation historically has been the only curative therapy for MDS, and currently in 2012, that's still true. It's the only curative therapy. The newly formed uh, MDS Research Consortium is a very exciting, privately funded endeavor by the uh, Edward P. Evans Foundation, and it's being run through the Aplastic Anemia and MDS International Foundation. And basically, this is a very novel approach of getting getting six leading institutions together to cooperate very specifically on MDS, but even more specifically on MDS clinical trials. The point is to get things out to patients as quickly as possible.